So honestly, this video could go on for 20 minutes if I let it, but I figured I'd save you the uh, pain of an extra 15 minutes and uh, just kind of make this more like an intro to my uh, future, you know? Um, and many of you know that I like plants. I mean, even my shirt says it. But anyways, the main point of this is the fact that while I do like plants and I do also like making videos, I also have passions that are like uh, reptiles and amphibians, um, invertebrates like isopods and tarantulas, though I'm not sure if I get any tarantulas of my own. I do have fascination at watching them and the fact that they also look kind of fluffy as if snakes were weren't cuddly enough um, but I also like terrariums and um, a lot of these things I want to get into in the future and since I'm going to be graduating why not make it so that I wasn't able to like own a reptile in my apartments or dorms. Part of that's obviously my fault because I chose to live on campus all four years, but um, why not look into getting a reptile of my own, kind of find all these things that I'm talking about and trying them or diving deeper into them, you know. I've grown plants, but I've never really done my own, like, plant breeding project, um, which, of course, if I'm being real, would take me, like, five years to do, but that, that could easily go through in videos, and obviously it would be more of explaining how to do a breeding project rather than explaining what my breeding project is, because intellectual property rights and stuff, it's, it's a long process. But I have also haven't grown many plants that are difficult to grow. Sure, I may have grown things like mimosa pudica, um, grapefruit, melons, uh, moringa, but I haven't grown a moringa tree. I've only really grown a moringa sapling, and then due to the cold in the apartment and the non-ideal temperature, it ended up dying shortly after, but I have plenty of seeds to do that, so I'll do that in the future and see if I can actually get like a, uh, I don't know, like a six or seven foot tree out of it. I also want to get into, um, you know, mental health kind of thing, like I already know that chances are making videos I may end up with a instance of burnout, especially if I feel like, compared to others, I'm not posting a lot of videos, or if I think that because I'm not posting enough videos, I'm not getting like subs or likes or whatever you want to call them, that's, it, it may become a topic for like a few, a year or two down the line, or whenever I end up with like a thousand subs, if I ever get to a thousand subs, or even a hundred thousand subs, like, I can't really know what's going to happen, but I can expect and have expectations for what I want to happen. Like, my family moves, and that may give me more room to actually make my own little, like, studio type thing, and make a lot more interesting videos where I have maybe like graphics that I kind of draw on the screen or um, have like a mini greenhouse where I can explain like why would you use a greenhouse and why is a greenhouse not a house even though it has house in the name. There's so many topics that I can go on and Honestly, it's not something that I will know now, but I will know maybe down the future line. Like, I'll know what I've made and I know what I want to make. But I also want to make sure that I don't feel like I'm killing myself and 
like overwhelming myself, burning out to the extreme.